Hello everyone, this is the Smart Speaker by AQ Audio, as you can see here. It is a rechargeable speaker that you can actually pair with another and use it under AirPlay. Now, AirPlay is different than standard um, Bluetooth. AirPlay actually works over your router. So any place that you have your router connected um, to your um, iPhone or iPad or actually even other devices, there's a special application for Android devices as well, you can play your speaker um, with any music that's on there. So it's, it's pretty interesting and again it has better range than a Bluetooth speaker because it works wherever your router works and not necessarily just uh, within the range of the Bluetooth. So let's look at how this thing sets up and uh, how it sounds and, and see if this is maybe a, a small speaker that would interest you. Okay so this might be a little difficult to see but one of the things I really like about the smart, smart speaker is that it has really good instructions step by step on how to actually set it up and it, and it really is pretty easy. So uh, going through it what you do is you take your um, your device and here I have my iPad you uh, plug in your 30 pin or whatever uh, pin connection you have. If it's an iPhone 5 you might have the whitening connection. And then you plug the other end into the back of the smart speaker. Now I'll spare you some of these details but it, it really is that easy. You push a couple of buttons and then you're, uh, you're connecting your smart speaker to your home network or whatever network you're on. Okay I've plugged the USB into the back of the speaker as you can see and the next thing that you're going to do is on top is you're going to briefly push the volume buttons together and then you will follow the steps that, that appear on your on your device. Now it's again very easy to set up um, and when you've done it correctly you'll see that your speaker on the top right here will turn green. Now you're not going to be able to see it on this camera but trust me it works. Now the nice thing about AirPlay is that whenever you're playing music on it and I'll show you this that you can you can immediately switch it over from iPad to um, or iPhone or, or device to your speaker um, like you would do for Apple TV um, and, and, and it works real well so we'll show you how that works next okay now that we have the speaker set up we're going to uh, show how it actually works and again the, the setup is very simple so I'll play some nice uh, non copyrighted music in Yankee Doodle this is my iPad that you hear now you're probably familiar with the little icon right there. You see AirPlay. And then you switch it over. And it takes it a, a few seconds to actually um, connect to it. So now you can hear it sounds quite a bit better and louder than what was native on my iPad. Now let's take it to top volume. And the sound performance is pretty good. Now one of the nice things about this too is you're now um, only restricted by the uh, uh, range of your router and your device and not limited by Bluetooth. So uh, it, it's pretty nice. And you actually probably get a little bit better musical performance using AirPlay than what you would get using standard Bluetooth. So kind of keep that in mind too. Um, it's very easy to set up both for an Android and for an uh, on iDevice, whether it's an iPad or iPhone. And it works for other things other than music. So if you want to watch movies, um, if you want to watch um, uh, YouTube videos, again, all of that works very well with the uh, smart speaker. Okay, a few more thoughts on the smart speaker by AQ Audio. Uh, you get 10 hours of playback using uh, AirPlay um, uh, for battery life, which is pretty good. It, it has up to 24 watts of power per speaker. Um, and now you won't get 10 hours of battery life if you're using the full 24 watts. Um, and, and also, it doesn't really sound like it has a full 24 watts per speaker. It seems a little less than that, um, but that just may be me. Um, it sets up really quick, under 30 seconds. Another thing that's nice is that you can set this up and you can run it real quickly off your iPad or iPhone or any other device that's on that network. So you don't, you're not restricted to Bluetooth. If you want to play it on your iPad, you can set it up. And then if you uh, have your, uh, your, your MacBook or anything that's running AirPlay, you can immediately switch it over to play off the speaker as well. As long as it's connected to the network, you don't need Bluetooth. So that, that's real nice too. 
Um, you can use it with a left and right speaker, unlike uh, Bluetooth devices. Now, you're going to have to have a MacBook Pro or something, or in some sort of device that runs AirPlay, other than just an iPad or iPhone, to, to set it up that way. But that is kind of a nice way to uh, uh, kind of add to your overall sound experience. Now, in terms of disadvantages, the sound does lack bass, so it does have some lack of depth to it, um, which is a little bit surprising at this price range. And also, if you're going to add two speakers, you're starting to get into some pretty significant uh, uh, cash outflow. So uh, compared to standard dual speakers that you would get for your computer, uh, it might be a little bit more expensive than, than some of the other options out there. But that, that's kind of a nice way to think of it, is a nice set of computer speakers that you can move around your house that are completely rechargeable. You can set up to your iPad or iPhone or any other device that, that supports AirPlay or Android device using a special app that they have established and uh, get uh, some pretty nice functionality to it. Take it outside, take it inside. As long as you're inside the range of your router, I think this is a device that will uh, please lots of people.